Hello, hello, hello. Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with another celebrity reading. This time it's on Kanye West, Kim Kardashian, and Kris Jenner. Kanye West is in a feud with Kris Jenner, and he was posting a bunch of text messages um, and stuff, uh, making a lot of accusations. So um, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to go on. But let's take a look at it. So I'm going to take a look at the feud between Kanye and Chris and see what's up next in this an ongoing saga of the Kardashian dramas. Remember, these rings are all for entertainment purposes only. And let's get started. All, these rings are all alleged for entertainment purposes only. And let's get started. Oh, my God. <laughs> One of those days. Um, See, so yeah, I've done a lot of Kardashian readings, too. I'll put a link up to some of the Kanye stuff up there. So check out the playlist. But... All right, so Kanye's going to be in the left, and then we'll do Chris on the right. So Kanye, Judgment card. Chris, Six of Cups, the past, energy in between, Ten of Cups reversed. Okay, so for starters, Kanye definitely feels judged. Um, the Judgment card tells me that he's feeling judged, um, and he feels like Chris is judging him and has always judged him. The Six of Cups says that they have an issue from the past that never they never got over. So she must have said something in the past about him, and he's held a grudge for forever. Like There's definitely something she said or done that he will never let go of. Um, I also do think that he is concerned about the values that they have for his children. I don't think he's lying about that. Um, that is something the Six of Cups is children, so is the Ten of Cups. Um, a Ten of Cups reverse is like a happily ever after reverse. That means that they both have different end game goals. So I do think he's being somewhat honest in that he wants to raise his children a certain way and they don't agree. He feels bullied by that. Um, he feels like they're using the family to push him around and tell him where to put the kids and what the kids are supposed to do. Um, the Ten of Cups reverse and the judgment card tells me that he's trying to get the public on his side on purpose. So he's using the public as his um, weapon. Um, I think the reason why he's using the public is because he feels like he doesn't have family and Kim has family. So there's a part of him that feels almost like um, rejected or neglected or shunned because she has like all this family support and all this stuff and he doesn't have anything. Um, and so he's like, if you're going to use your family to bully me, I'm going to use the public to bully you. So he's doing that on purpose. Um, I also think with the judgment card, um, I mean, and the Ten of Cups reverse, it seems to me like he genuinely believes that Kris Jenner is the reason why um, the daughters are all fucked up. Like, that's his opinion. His opinion is like, oh, they're all fucked up and it's her fault. Like, it's completely her fault. I also think he doesn't like something that one of them said to his kids. Like, I think Chris may have said something to one of his children and he doesn't like it or did something. I don't know what it is, but there's something Chris said or did to one of the kids. It might be one of the older ones. I'm not sure, but there's something he, she said or did to one of the kids that he's just never let go of and he doesn't like, and it's bothered him. Okay, so we have the tower, queen of swords, there's Kim, and the three of swords reversed. Um... Kim feels like he's mad at Kim. So when he's mad at Kim, he lashes out at everyone around her. So Kim feels a lot of pressure because she feels like he's mad at me and he's taking it out on my entire family and he's taking it out on everyone. Um, I feel like she feels like he's always projecting his issues um, with her onto other people. Um, I don't think she's wrong. Um, but I also don't think she realizes that he's never let go of some of the things that, sh that has been said and done. Um, I think Kim smooths over a lot of shit that her mom does and her sisters do and stuff. I think Kim is like, I mean, she's a Libra as a mediator there. And I think she smoothed over a lot of things and he's tired of it. Like he's just sick and tired of it. He's like, I'm, I'm sick of the shit. I'm over the shit. Like, I don't think his problem is Kim right now like honestly i think that he's like whatever about kim he's like i've got bigger fish to fry i think his problem is with the fact that kim is complacent with the things that her family does so he feels like kim should be standing up for him and should be standing up for his children more and he's pissed that she's not i think the problem here is that kim double talks typical libra behavior i think she tells him one thing and her family another because she's trying to smooth things over and she's trying to mediate and she's trying to like make everyone happy and it's not making everyone happy i think kim is being messy here trying to like people please and i think he's getting pissed off at it and then she's like well why i don't know why kanye's saying this kanye's saying this because you fucking you're double talking and you're throwing him under the bus and that's not gonna work um 
Four of Swords Upright, King of Cups Reversed, The World Reversed. Kim feels like Kanye got what he wanted and he's like making her miserable and he wants her alone and unhappy and she doesn't want her with a man and now she broke up with P and all this other shit that she's been doing. She feels like Kanye is just on his victory lap. Um, and she feels like Kanye is happy when she's miserable. I'm not going to lie. I do agree to some extent that Kanye is happier when Kim is unhappy. Typical ex behavior. Um... I think that there's an issue with Kanye's behavior and I think that's what triggered a lot of this. The two of pentacles upright, which I would see that as like exchange. So it's like when you drop off the kids and when you do something with the kids and the temperance card is impatience and imbalance and the devil card is reversed, which is um, erratic behavior, toxic behavior. For me, I think they feel like there's a few issues I think they feel like he treats some of the children differently. I also think that he accuses them of doing the same thing. So I think I think it's like one of those things where it's like he feels like they're not treating one of the children the same way they treat the other children. So he's trying to put more energy into that children, that child. And then they're like, you're treating that child differently and there's favoritism. So it's like back and forth. He's like trying to make up for what he thinks is going on, but then he's doing what he says they're doing. It's like this back and forth finger pointing. But I also see that as him not following through with what he says he's going to follow through with. I see him being impulsive. I see him being like, oh, I'll take the kids here and then doing something completely different. He's lying. So I see him telling them like, oh, I'm going to do this. And oh, I'm doing that. Oh, I'm doing this. And then he's not doing that. And he's doing something else. Like he's not following the script. That's the problem is he's not following the script. Kanye is being spiteful and he's purposely not following the script to piss Chris and all the family members and Kim off. That is why he's not doing it. So he'll tell them he's going to take them somewhere and not going to take them somewhere. He's going to do something else. Um, I do think that Kanye, obviously we know Kanye is like battling, you know, mental health struggles, but I think, I think part of it is that, but I also think there's a part of him that's just like a child himself. And I'm not saying he's wrong. I'm not saying he's right. I'm just saying like some of this stuff is very childish. Um, again, I still think Kim is playing both sides. So she's kind of egging it on. I don't know if it's intentional or not. Um, the Two of Cups is upright, the Page of Wands, and the Five of Cups reversed. Um, Uh-oh. One of the kids said something. One of the kids said something. It's not something that was like on social media or something like that. But one of the kids said something. I think one of the kids is like stop posting on social media or something. So I'm seeing one of the kids say something. Um, I'm seeing one of the kids say something. One of them is too smart for their own good. I see them being like, stop posting on social media or something. I also see one of them saying something about him that, so this is what I'm hearing, okay? This is what I'm hearing. One of the kids say something about Kanye. And Kanye hears wind of it and Kanye starts freaking out and is upset because he feels like they put that in their ear. He's going to feel like one of the kids was poisoned. Um, allegedly, personally, I feel like he's going to feel like that. Like, oh, one of them, you, of course, like Kim said this, whatever. And that's why, you know, the child is saying this. Like he's going to, that's the next big fight that they're going to have is that he's going to feel like they're planning things into the kid's ears. Like, oh, you're trying to turn them against me. Like, that's what he's going to do. That's what he's going to say. When it's more just like, I feel like, you know, unfortunately they're around a giant family. So like, they're going to be more drawn towards Kim because it's, you know, a giant family unit versus Kanye who's kind of by himself. Kanye has a lot of fucking trauma that he hasn't healed and it's getting projected onto other people. I'm not going to lie. Um, again, I'm not saying he's completely wrong. What I'm saying though, is that he's making it very easy for the Kardashians to have a layup. Like it's so easy with them just be like swish, swish. Like they make, he makes it very easy for them. Um, the Page of Pentacles is upright, the Nine of Pentacles is upright, and the Magician is reversed. They feel like he only does this when he's single and alone and bored and can't get anyone. That's like him being like, you do this when you're miserable and alone. There's also... 
He also is, he's also, I think he's going to, I think he's going to talk shit about all of the sisters' relationships soon. There's a part of him that's going to feel like, um, the sisters, like, I see him just talking shit like, oh, they're in fake relationships, or oh, they do this shit for money, or oh, they get in relationships for money, and they don't, or they get in relationships for this, they don't tell the guys, or whatever. Like, I just see him feeling like he's going to start talking shit about them using men. That's what I'm seeing. That's where I'm seeing the angle is like you use men. Queen of Pentacles versus Star Upright and Nine of Pentacles. You use men. You've done this for years. You use men for fame. You use men for attention. I'm tired of the shit. And I see him trying to point that and blame that on Chris. I mean. I mean. I mean. <laughs> no shade, but I mean, if the shoe fits. <laughs> I mean, I get it. It's a game. It's a game. It's a career game. I get it. Uh, the Fool's Reverse, the Seven of Pentacles Reverse, the Ace of Swords. Kanye wants to fight. Kanye's provoking. Kanye's provoking. Kanye wants to fight. Kanye is ready to fight. He's going to consistently fight. He's going to be petty. I see him consistently fighting. He doesn't care anymore. Kanye wants to fight, and he's going to keep provoking until he gets it. Kanye is going to keep upping the ante until they fight back. Yep. He, he definitely, he, the reason why he's poking Chris is because he thinks if he keeps poking Chris, all the sisters will come for him, um, and he wants to smoke. He's not afraid of Chris, and he doesn't really care that much about Chris. He just wants all the smoke with all the sisters. He wants to air all the sisters' dirty, dirty laundry. It's not just Kim anymore. He wants to air all the sisters' dirty laundry, because you know Kim probably talks shit about her other sisters, and he has that ammunition. He wants them all to come at him, so when they come at him, he can start throwing shit in each one of them their face. He's got, he's got like ammunition against each of the sisters and he's like, let him talk shit. Come on, come on, say something. I wish the fuck you would because the minute you say one thing, I'm coming for you. He's baiting them. I think he's going to get his wish. I do. The Ace of Wands is reversed. The Nine of Swords and proceeds like I've got old tea. I think he's going to get his wish. I think, I think that the Kardashians are going to embrace it pretty soon. As of right now, they're like kind of embarrassed. They're like, let me just shut up. Like he knows too much. But I think they might embrace it soon because I'm seeing them needing a distraction. Something is going to happen where they're going to need a distraction. So somebody is going to get some bad PR or something allegedly. There's just something like, I don't know if it's a scandal or if it's just like a humiliating thing. They're going to need a distraction. They're going to get desperate and be like, fine. I also think that they, they're they going to be like, whatever, it's good promotion. Like, I actually do think, maybe the show is struggling or something, but like, I do think that they're going to be like, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to embrace this because the Ten of Pentacles is long-term success. The Ace of Cups is the, their bonds. And the Seven of Cups is like, fine. You want to fight dirty? Let's fight dirty. It's one of the sisters that's going to start it. One of the sisters who has an attitude um, is going to start it. Um, and she's going to light the match because she's going to be like, I fucking had it with this fucking bitch. Like, I'm done with him and I'm coming for him. That's one of the girls. I hear, I literally hear that in my head. The Seven of Wands says, we might not expect it though. Um, I'm not sure. It might be one of the ones we least expect with the seven of wands, but either way, that's just someone that can, that's like, I'm going to prove my innocence. And the wheel of fortune is upright with the 10 of wands reverse, which says that this person is very upset because they feel like they feel like you can come at my sisters for that, but don't come at me for that. I'm different than my sisters. My relationships were real or my, this was real. They're also mad that he came after their mom, but he did that on purpose. One of them is going to come for his career. He, one of them is going to come for his career. Like, so one of them is going to be like, bitch, you've been struggling. And they're going to come for his career and his money. Because I do think Kanye has some money issues. So I think they're going to come for both. And I think they're going to be like, Kim has been saving you. Your marriage saved you. Like, higher fin. Like, Kim saved you. Kim did a lot for you. Mm. Not Kimmy having all the girls fight her battles. Come on, Libra putting batteries in other people's backs. This is going to get messy. Um, the sun is reversed, the five of swords is reversed, and the page of swords. So, yeah, he's going to be petty. He's going to get his fight, and they're both going to be unhappy. Everyone is going to be unhappy, um, and I think that he's going to be happy that everyone's unhappy because he knows he's unhappy. He's a child, but you know what? It's hard. I mean, I feel empathy and sympathy, but also, like, I know that the Kardashians aren't innocent people, so it's kind of like, meh, popcorn. Popcorn dot get, gif. You know what I mean? Like, bitch, I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy this. And bitch, y'all could take each other out as far as I'm concerned. This shit is funny. So, 
Yeah, King of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Nine of Cups. Um, one of them is going to, uh, one of them is, oh, I think there's going to be an article or something that they're going to plant or something, allegedly. Someone is going to talk about his soured relationship with someone in the industry. It's a King of Cup, King of Pentacles, so someone very successful, successful businessman or a successful musician or something in the industry and his soured relationship with that person. Someone's going to throw that in his face or plan an article about it or something. Yeah. The Ten of Swords and the Three of Cups, jealousy um, and betrayal and distrust and disloyalty. The Ten of Swords backstabbing the Five of Wands confrontation. He has a beef with someone and they're going to throw it in his face. I think they might post something to provoke or maybe post a picture with that person. Or, I mean, they could just plan an article or something. But yeah, they're going to do that too. Okay. Well, that's basically it. I mean, it's just going to get messy. His target isn't really Chris, although he doesn't really like her. His target is all the sisters. He wants all the smoke. He wants all the smoke. He feels like he's the emperor. He's daddy and daddy makes all the decisions. For him, he's like, I'm in charge. I'm, I'm the leader. Bow down. Like for him, he's, he's like, I'm going to show you guys that I'm in charge. And what I say goes is I control this family. You don't like he's and he wants to control the Kardashians, too. I mean, good luck, babes. <laughs> That's kind of what I see. I hope you guys like that. If you did, make sure you tip. There's a link to my people down below. There's also a button on YouTube. It's a heart. It says thanks. You can give me money directly. Um, follow me on all my socials, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, and for Daddy. Subscribe down below. I do stream on YouTube now. So make sure you put the bell for notifications when I upload next and when I go live. And until next time.